morning and say good morning good afternoon and welcome back to another video i have wanted to do a q a like a sit down chat q a for so long i'm home alone this afternoon i've just got the baby to sleep i honestly didn't think it was happening i did not think she was going to go down to sleep it is currently quarter to three which means it's getting dark soon and i just really wanted to get this youtube video filmed so we are going to hopefully <laughs> do a get ready with me it's not even a get ready with me i'm just going to do my makeup as i answer the questions in this q a so welcome back merry christmas time my christmas tree look i'm real cute um but yes i had a i seem to get a lot of the same questions on instagram all the time either in my comments or on my story q a's or on my dms just the same ones all the time and I thought maybe we'll put some of them into a YouTube video, a sit down chat but I also put a question box up as well so if you um, follow me over on Instagram you might have seen that and some of your questions might be in this video so it's not actually a get ready with me, um, it's a I'm going to get ready, why am I even getting ready? Do I need to even get ready? I think we'll just get ready anyway <laughs> for the sake of sanity um so one of the questions i'm getting all the time is what are my like training goals right now how is the gym going like what's what's the vibe there and honestly i have such mixed views on it right now because i thought so i trained all the way through my pregnancy right i was very very lucky to be able to be able to train all through pregnancy and I felt good doing it obviously towards the end I was like I am over being pregnant I don't like it um and I'll be honest I did not like being pregnant I had a really good pregnancy I had no touch wood I'm saying touch wood it's done I had no issues I had no concerns no restrictions other than the obvious ones like you're just massive at the end um, and just like general tiredness and stuff like that but all in all I think my pregnancy went the best that it could um, so I continued to train throughout it and that was fine and I had it in my head that after I had a baby you know six weeks later I would be cleared to go back to exercise and that my physique and my gym routine wouldn't be largely impacted. Well I was wrong because my like I said pregnancy was absolutely fine um, but my labour if you haven't watched my birth story my labour was two days long and then my birth just ended up being um, that she needed forceps to enter this world. Dramatic entrance because, you know, why not, eh? Make your stamp on this world early on. So that was fine, but it just meant I had stitches. I had a third degree tear, so I had, or a three A tear, I don't know if that's the same thing. So I had stitches down there. It was uncomfortable, honestly, sitting around. I didn't leave my house for the first two weeks of her being born because, number one, you're so exhausted. Um, obviously had stitches and they were so uncomfortable like the direction they went they kind of went sideways so it was across like slightly into my glute and I just couldn't sit properly so I didn't want to go in a car didn't want to go to anybody's house didn't didn't want to go out anywhere why would I want to go anywhere and um, but I mean like didn't even go a walk or anything like I stayed inside my house for two weeks and honestly highly recommend I have never done that in my life never had two weeks of doing absolutely nothing other than well, caring for a baby and recovering so it wasn't really nothing but you know what I mean um so I had that three eight tear I had extreme blood loss and that led to me being put forward for a blood transfusion whilst I was in the hospital because they kept me in for three days um and I needed a blood transfusion but then they gave me the option of having um, iron tablets instead and I just went for the iron tablets I was like I don't want to be in hospital any longer and if I can just have tablets and like go home that's absolutely fine me not knowing that a blood transfusion would literally have fixed that low iron situation within hours and that iron tablets take like minimum 30 days but ideally like 90 days before you actually feel like a normal human being so there was that as well I had like horrendous anemia to the point that I couldn't even walk up the stairs without feeling like I just wanted to go to sleep um and then obviously looking after a newborn and then I was bleeding for six weeks and they say obviously you do bleed for up to six weeks or you can bleed for up to six weeks after you have a baby um so I thought it was normal that I was still bleeding to like a period level not lightly um like you know a good amount every day 
and I thought that was normal but it just never tapered off and then oh, I've spoke about this before and then on the literal day of the sixth week I had this horrendous amount of bleeding like it just I felt it happen through everything like it was just completely soaked and um like my bathroom still has blood stains on the wall because it, it was like a massacre I literally looked like I'd been shot and I thought that I was gonna die I honestly just thought this is it I am dying something has went wrong and we haven't known for six weeks and I am now just literally going to bleed out on my toilet and die um went into the hospital I've spoke about this before long story short we found out three weeks later because it kept happening and scans and ultrasounds and all the rest of it kept getting pushed that by the third so by three weeks after this but nine weeks they realized it was retained placenta now retained placenta can be very dangerous like you can that can get infected and you can have sepsis and that's on like low level you can hemorrhage you can literally die um from it poor adam was very very worried and he he knew right away at the six weeks with the bleeding and all the rest of it he was like you have retained placenta there's something in your body that's not supposed to be in there and he was really like phone the doctor keep phoning them and he was the one that made me push because they kept saying so i was told originally it was my period um and I knew it wasn't my period because it was just far too, it was far too much. I knew myself it wasn't my period. Um, so he kept saying to me, keep phoning, keep phoning, keep phoning. Eventually got it sorted that it was retained placenta. Um, so I, long story short, I didn't go to the gym or work out for nine weeks other than doing some gentle pelvic floor work and core work at home. Um, I didn't work out for nine weeks. Well, actually I ended up being 10 weeks because I, I had to let the bleeding stop. So long story short. After I had a baby, I had stitches, I had anemia and needed a blood transfusion but didn't take it and also had a newborn baby and I had retained placenta and had to recover from that 10 weeks later. So honestly it was a ride. It was not what I expected whatsoever. I honestly expected to be in the gym six weeks later, doing my regular weights, with my abs, living life and of course that was not the case. So there was a big interruption in training and that meant that well, I've been back at the gym for a couple of weeks now and oh my god the strength is not there I would say upper body is not as bad as lower body but like my legs just are just not there so I have been trying to do three days a week pushing to do four so that I can build my strength back up build my muscle back up but this was the thing I was like right what do I want to focus on do I want to first of all focus on Kind of losing the excess weight from having a baby and get my abs back and then start from there to build muscle so do i kind of want to essentially cut to then go into a growth phase or do we just start off with trying to grow muscle so adam was like that do you want abs or do you want glutes and i was like well i want both he's like well in the short term which one would you rather and i said i want abs so i want to do a kind of damage control if you like get the abs back and then in the new year we're really going to focus on building muscle mass because for me getting my abs back or getting that kind of level of leanness is more of a short term thing and then building muscle I want that to be a long term really hammer it hard and get get some muscle and get some size on my body so that is what I chose to do and so far so good I'm enjoying what I'm doing it's just so frustrating when you are so much weaker than you used to be you know and obviously that's the case and it's a completely new journey for me like I've never really been in the stage where I've had kind of this excess body fat that um, I'm not used to and obviously kind of feel back feel like I'm back at square one with the, the strength and it's just a new it's just a new area and you know I was thinking about this the other day I just thought being st like a new mum like when my baby is four months old being a new mum Having gone through birth, stitches, retained placenta, anemia, um, you know, and just trying to juggle also being, like being a mum, trying to run a business, being a partner, being a daughter, sister, friend, all the rest of it, trying to balance everything is a lot harder than I anticipated it to be. Um, and I think it was Carly Rowena wrote something in our status the other day and she's like, you can't be 100% anything anymore if you have all these other avenues so for example like i can totally understand now why people take a year off for maternity and they just focus on staying at home recovering being a mum 
I 100% get it. I used to think, I don't want to do that, that's not for me. I want to continue working, blah, 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 blah. But it's very hard to spread your energy into so many different things and you can't be 100% you can't be 100% mum and 100% partner and 100% business person, etc, etc. You just can't do it. So, obviously my main focus is Blake, 100%. Um, but obviously, at the same time, my job is something that I've built up over the past like six years. I love it. It's like my identity. It's my thing. Um, so, like, pouring all that into, like, my passion as well. So, it looks sort of short to that answer. How is my training going? It is going well, and it's been a good reintroduction back into it. Um, but I have been taking it slowly and realising, you know, you can only put yourself into so many avenues right now when she is so young. Um, and, you know, as it comes into the new year and she maybe reaches, like, six months old um, and she's slightly more independent of me, then we're really going to hit the training, like, hard. Like, I have such goals for myself not just in terms of what I look like like aesthetically of course um everybody has those goals would be lying if we said we didn't but I want a new there's a magpie level of fitness that I've not had before um and I'm ready to challenge myself so my new year challenge that's coming out in my app will reflect this so if you're looking for something to be doing in 2024 I have that for you we are doing a reset and it's going to be the best reset I've ever done in my life okay that was a very long answer for the first question so let's get the phone and answer the ones that you have been submitting over the past two days okay ba -da -ba 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 -ba. do you eat any chocolate or, or cheats during the festive season so i don't believe in calling anything a cheat i've said this before and i'll say it again i just feel like i eat a very balanced diet and this is the thing as well i'm way more like i've always been into wellness in the past few years but definitely in the past like couple of months now I think it's just like this recovery process and just wanting to feel my best again that um you know wellness has really picked up and I think it's more so just seeing things on TikTok like the flaxseed hair mask and skin things and doing things at home um to like improve how you look and feel and I think as well as my age like I'm 30 now which is mind-boggling to me and you know being being 30 you're a wee bit more conscious of looking after yourself not that i feel any different than i did five years ago i literally feel the same except i have this wee person with me um but you know it's interesting it's an interesting take on life um but i don't believe in cheats or clients in a cheat meal i just believe in eating balanced and i eat mostly healthy every day and if i want to have chocolate which i do most days or i want to have cake or i want to have I wouldn't say McDonald's because I don't really like McDonald's, but you know, a takeaway or something like that. There's no element in my mind that's like, oh, this is cheating or this is unhealthy or this is bad or anything like that. It's it's part of being balanced and living a balanced diet. I love healthy food and I enjoy healthy food, but I also enjoy not healthy foods from time to time as well. Um, how has your relationship changed after having a baby? Interesting question. Um, I would actually like to know Adam's answer on this as well, but of course it's definitely changed because you have this whole other level of responsibility um, in this new person. But I think it also makes you very, very aware and very, what's the word, conscious to try and make sure that you are still like pouring into each other, if that makes sense. And it maybe actually gives you more of a, a conscious effort to make an effort, if that makes sense. Um, whereas before, you know, you just kind of go along with life and you're maybe not thinking about it as much you just kind of you go with emotions whereas now i feel like if we're deciding right let's go out for dinner like always comes with us yes um but you know it's made way more of a do you know what we haven't been out for dinner in a few weeks let's go do this or we haven't had a movie night or we haven't done this you know and it's just a bit more of a a conscious effort i feel like um to your relationship Will there be a New Year's Fit Challenge guide for 2024? Yes, there will be. I just spoke about it briefly. We're calling it Reset. And I don't care what stage of life you're in, what stage of your fitness journey you're in, this is going to do you well. It's going to do you good. And I'm excited to, I don't know what it is about New Year or like a new month or a new week or a new something, a new Monday. Everybody just is like, right, it's a new start, fresh start, clean slate, let's go. But New Year is that on a whole new level and this challenge 
it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one advice for postpartum well i feel like honestly just with what i said at the beginning how my postpartum journey has been a bit of a ride for like 10 weeks um take care of yourself like literally nothing else matters for the first two months other than you recovering spend the time as a family and looking after that baby like literally nothing else matters do whatever it is that makes you feel sane makes you feel like yourself makes you feel rested and happy and um, i must be honest in that blake sleeps like an angel at night time from zero to six weeks she only, she only woke up once a night to be fed and since six weeks she has not woken up once during the night actually she did it once because she woke up at four in the morning and i was like what are you doing you don't do this um she sleeps through the night. Granted, she doesn't go to bed until between like midnight and one in the morning. We're trying to sort that out, but she'll sleep till like eight or nine in the morning. So I do get like seven, eight hours sleep every night. Like last night she went to bed, it was like 12.40, um, but she's, she never woke up till half past nine. Thus, we never woke up till half past nine and I was a bit confused. I was like, oh my God, it's half past nine. Um, but you know, that, that was just short of nine hours sleep, which that is a blessing. That is a blessing with a new baby so you know um I feel rested and I feel good and I feel I feel very lucky um but you know if that isn't your situation you need to make sure you're focusing on rest focusing on recovery and um, speaking of which I'm gonna go and check on her but I have also said like in contrast to that she doesn't normally nap during the day she might take like if she's if she feeds she will fall asleep in my arms for like half an hour which is good, obviously, because I'm normally feeding her and I can be on my laptop or I can edit on my phone. Um, but she doesn't tend to, if you go to move her and lie her down, she wakes up. Um, but she was shattered for some reason. Um, so she is currently sleeping, which is why I'm doing this video and praying that she stays asleep for a while. Um, but I would rather she didn't nap during the day and then I get my eight hours a night. That is, that is a blessing. Like, every time I say it to people, they're like, she sleeps through the night and she has done since week six and I'm like yes and I don't know what I did to deserve it but thank you thank you whoever made that happen um let me see what else oh thoughts on the flaxseed mask so if you follow me on tiktok I love trying the wellness trends on tiktok I really really do um and I tried the flaxseed mask where you basically boil flax seeds in water until it makes like a gel you strain it and then you can put it as a face mask and you can put it in your hair I've now used it twice on my face. I like it, you know, I just like kind of more natural skincare and stuff like that. So, and it's cheap. I think I got a bag of flax seeds for like £3.99 or something. And that will last me a very long time. Um, and then I put it in my hair last night. And I, honestly, I think it did make a difference to my hair. Um, it, see in the shower, oh my God, my hair felt so soft when I was washing like the gel through it. I could like feel the softness in my hair, if that makes sense. Um, if you have any trends though that are happening on TikTok, especially either like food, health, fitness, wellness, anything like that, please tag them in the comments because I love trying them and I would like to make them myself on TikTok if they look fun to do. Whoa, that mascara was a bit clumpy. I also want to know people's Christmas plans, like what does everybody do for Christmas? Because um, I feel like people always have very different traditions within their family and I'd be keen to know what it was okay what's your favorite my protein soy protein flavor vanilla i won't lie i hate other flavors of protein powder i used to drink a chocolate one all the time but i actually tried a chocolate one recently and it's just it was too artificial it was too sweet or something it wasn't for me and i love sweet stuff right but it was just it was artificially sweet and i didn't like it um my favorite flavor is 100 percent the vanilla and i think it's because of the way i have it i have it in like a protein coffee every morning and yeah, it's my favourite one. Um, have you ever struggled with binge eating? To an extent. I first started my like fitness journey. I it was at the time where like raw tofu was a thing and um people were like shredded but really, really, really tiny. Um and I started out I wasn't vegan at the time, so I started out like doing plyometrics and at home hit and all these like workouts that you saw on youtube back in the day um and honestly it's you, you start eating healthy and not realizing that you're under eating and then it got to a point where you know you were looking up things like victoria's secret diets and you ended up eating like 
1200 calories a day and you thought that was like a holy grail number and as a result you were obviously under eating and ended up then I don't know if I go as far to say it was binging but you do just end up just like stuffing your face with loads of stuff and you're like why did I just do that um so the key message is that you do not ever want to underfeed or undernourish your body you know even if you're trying to lose weight there's ways to do it that you're not starving yourself um because it doesn't get you anywhere like the, the best i've looked is when i've eaten the most nutritious food but eaten the most and lifted the most is when i've looked and felt my absolute best um oh, what's your strength like since having three months off i feel weak if i have a week off yes as I told you, it was a shambles. It was, it was bad. It still is bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, upper body's not as bad. Apart from when I tried to do pull-ups, I didn't even move. I didn't even budge like an inch, um, which actually I expected, but also didn't expect because I felt like on other back exercises, my strength wasn't too bad. But it's because your pull-ups use so much of your core. My core is still weak. It's still got a bit of recovery to do. Um, and... I, had, I didn't do a pull-up for a year because obviously when I was pregnant it was too much on my course, I didn't do it. And I also didn't hip thrust for a year and when I started off doing them again a few weeks ago, you know, I started at like 60 kilo and I was like, oh my god, this is going to take so long. But yesterday I did 100 kilo and, you know, I do feel like my muscle and strength will come back fairly quickly. Um, just because, you know, I've done it for so long and even though we've had a break and being pregnant and birthed a human being and had placentas and all sorts going on. Um, you know, my body's not completely new to all this, so um, I'm kind of hoping, you know, within a few months. We'll be back in the game, we'll be jamming. But like I said, I have some like actual fitness goals that I'll probably discuss in the new year, because I'm not 100% decided on what they are yet. But yeah. Um, okay, skincare routine and favourites. My skincare routine right now is so simple. If you want to see it, I post quite a lot of like weekend of morning vlogs and stuff on TikTok. But right now I'm using the Inculist Sicilic Acid Cleanser. I use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I use the Ordinary Moisturiser. I normally use sun cream but I ran out. And then I'm using this like caffeine face oil right now, like serum stuff on top. And then at night time, it's a tea tree face wash. Wow, tea tree face wash, <laughs> hyaluronic acid, and then like a sleep mask moisturizer thing. Um, and that's it. I'm honestly, I've like half the amount of stuff I use in my skincare routine. Number one, because I think it was a bit excessive. And number two, we just don't got the time. My daughter's got the time. I know I've just put makeup on though, but um, I don't actually wear foundation. I just use this Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. I do have a spot one on here written off, which is questionable. Um, I do just use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I only discovered like a year ago isn't foundation. This, where is the front of it? Oh, it's all come off. Um, I've just recently discovered that this is actually like something you put under foundation and then you put foundation over it, which I didn't know. So I've been wearing that as foundation for years. Um, the light has went awfully blue. I might as well answer makeup favourites as well. I honestly use a lot of Charlotte Tilbury and I have had like the bronzer, the concealer, I've actually stopped putting concealer under my eyes though because I feel like it dries them out and it makes me look older and I'm pretty sure Sarah's day said that as well, like concealer under her eyes, I think she said just like dries it out and just makes her look older than she is, um, so we don't do that anymore. Chocolate or peanut butter? Chocolate. Always. Not a question but just wanted to say I have your fitness app and I'm seeing so much improvement in my fitness, thank you so much. Oh! I actually love it. I met a girl a few months ago actually in the gym that was using my app and it's just so nice knowing that something you've worked on for so long and invested so much into is actually helping people. Um, that was disgusting. What even is that? Watermelon setting spray. It doesn't taste like watermelon. Oh my god. Um, I think that will call it for today's Q and A. Um, I feel like I kind of covered the main topics which is mostly like what is your health and fitness and your goals right now especially after having a baby and postpartum chat and stuff um it's been a ride guys um but i love her more than anything in this entire world this is the thing i did not know this is going to sound silly as well right but see when you i never grew up someone who was like dying to have a baby wanted to be a mum like 
I even said like most of my 20s I was like I don't know if I have children I don't know if it's for me you know I want to focus on my work and stuff first and we'll see what happens down the line um, and then obviously that changed when I was 28, 29 um, and you know I didn't know what kind of mum I was going to be what kind of experience and all the rest of it and even Adam said to me he was like because you're not maternal so I don't really know what you're going to be like and I'm like well obviously I'm not maternal I don't have a baby and I don't think that's how it works right but um I've had no reason to be maternal um until I had Blake and honestly she is the best thing in the whole entire world and I did not know you could feel like this like obviously I love Adam and I love my family and I love my friends but this is a different level of love and even do you know what it is see when she's asleep or when I'm feeding her I'm looking at photos of her on my phone and I'm watching videos of her on my phone even though she is right here I am obsessed I am obsessed um and yeah it's just a completely different experience from what I imagined in all of the ways um but she's absolutely fabulous and i just love her so much um but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have an amazing christmas if this is the last video of mine you watch before then i do plan to upload another one next week so i should see you before then um but thank you guys so much again for all your support on all my social medias whether it's instagram tiktok youtube if you're on my app anything like that um you guys are the best and you have literally allowed me to have my dream job the past few years and also now continue to do my dream job whilst also being able to stay at home with my baby so thank you guys so much um i am running 10 days of giveaways over on instagram so make sure you're over there we have done um an annual subscription to my app we have given away a huge my vegan hamper and we've also given away three pairs of fit jeans so we have another seven giveaways at the ready the one will be posted tonight so make sure you go and check it out um, and enter them if you want some early christmas presents bye